Thanks for having me, CoinSola. As you guys know, KJOS. Hey guys, it's Eric here, and thanks to KJOS for having me in this collab video. Yo, 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 what is good, people? Ben from Lover of Tech. And again, a big thank you to KJOS for having me on this collab with everyone else. Hello, guys, Valor Reviews here, and thank you, KJOS, for featuring me in this video. What's up, guys? It's Victor here again. Compliments of the season, KJOS, and thank you for having me on your channel. Hi, this is Kisley from Tech Overwatch. Thank you, KJOS, for having me on your channel. What's up, guys? It's Medo Unboxing, and thank you, CoinSola, for having me on your channel. Hi, guys. Oscar Mini here, and thanks, KJOS, for having me. What is up, guys? Izzy here. Thank you, KJOS, for having me on your channel. Hey, guys. My name is KJOS, and as much as the world stopped due to the pandemic, the tech world didn't. This year gave us some of the most exciting pieces of tech we've seen, ranging from smartphones to laptops to headphones, earphones, and so many others. Even the old pieces of tech we used prior to this year came back in our lives. So this is my final video for 2020. And because of that, I decided to assemble some of my fellow African creators to tell us what their best tech is in 2020. Also, if you want to find out more information about them, I'll link uh, their channels in the description below. They are really fantastic creators. And without wasting too much of your time, let's get into the final video of 2020. Hey guys, it's Eric here and thanks to KJOS for having me in this collab video. My favorite tech of 2020 has to be the Bamboo investment app. So initially, I got on Bamboo to transfer all my Naira savings into a dollar account and then I started trading little by little and when I saw that there was a little bit of gain because I was trading at the right time, I traded a whole lot of money and then Bamboo investment became that app that made me the most money in 2020. So I can definitely say that it's my favorite tech of 2020 and if you guys want to invest, obviously you can lose money on the platform. You should definitely consult your experts on trading stocks and get them to help you make money on the Bamboo platform. Thanks again for watching and thanks to KJOS again for having me on this video. I will see you in the next one. Peace. Yo, 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 what is good people? Ben from Lover of Tech. And again, a big thank you to KJOS for having me on this collab with everyone else for this end of year 2020 for the best tech. Hope you're all safe. And yeah, I think I'm going to get straight to it, man. Anyone else that's seen me, probably come by my channel if you haven't. Hopefully you've not seen me on any other collabs, but you're going to ask me what the best tech of 2020 is for me. I'm going to pick a smartphone and without that, man, again, Z Fold 2. It's got to be the Z42. How can it not be the Z42? The reason why, man, this taught me something about myself. I thought when it came to the whole folding screen phones that were coming out, I thought it was going to be the Z Flip. I thought I wanted a normal size phone that could fold for it to be more compact to actually shift around. But <laughs> nah, it was this. The productivity on this, the continuity from the outer display into the inner display, being able to bust open and actually have three apps running at the same time. It's nuts. The speed, the optimization, the battery, the stream, flex mode, camera. Come on, man. I, I just flow with it. Every time I think about it, man, the build quality, the satin finish, the matte finish, the solidity of it, everything about this Z Fold 2 is mad. It's a mazzoline. And honestly, Samsung have won it this year when it comes to hardware. And I'm really, really, really excited to see how far and where this is going, man. So quick and simple, man. Z Fold 2 for me. Hope you're all safe during this time. Catch you in the next one. Peace. Hello, guys. Valor Reviews here, and thank you, KJOS, for featuring me in this video. Now, my favorite tech for year 2020 has to be the newer SL60W. That's the light I'm using right now, and this light has transformed my YouTube career. I went from shooting videos that look like this to making videos that look like this. The difference is clear. The camera I use matters, yes, but lighting is key. So, yeah, that's my favorite tech for year 2020. Valor, signing out. What's up, guys? It's Victor here again. Compliments of the season, KJOS, and thank you for having me on the channel. So, the best tech item released in 2020, in my opinion, is the PS5. Not the console, but the controller. The controller uses a special kind of motor for haptics and vibratorial feedback. And for every surface or environment you find yourself, there is a special kind of vibration pattern for it. So, what this means is that even with your eyes closed, you can tell what surface you are at a particular point in time in your gameplay. If you are running on sand, ice, water, or even in the air. I don't have this product in real life or physically, but I've watched a lot of reviews about this product and I thought it's breathtaking and I just can't wait to have my hands on this controller. But Christmas is here and I know somebody 
is going to buy this thing for me. Hey there, tech heads. Johannes from Tech PhD here, and shout out to KJOS for having me on the channel. Now, my favorite piece of tech for 2020 is not really something that's mainstream. It's not a smartphone or a smartwatch. It is this microphone right in front of my face. This is the Yodo USB microphone, and it has taken my audio game from barely passable to quite good, actually. And audio is not really just for YouTube. It is really underrated when it comes to things like Zoom calls or Skype calls and so on and so forth. And this microphone has really done a great job in improving my audio audio quality significantly. So this is my favorite piece of tech for the year. Thank you KJOS for having me on the channel once again and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace. What's up guys, it's Made Unboxing and thank you Coin Sola for having me on your channel. So my best tech so far in 2020 is this small box and that is the Vanzon X5 Pro that is really loud because of its 20 watt stereo sound which has up to 24 hours of playback time when the volume is at 45% and if you go for a swim or water accidentally touches it, you don't need to be worried because it has IPX7 for water resistance. Also, if you eventually go for hiking, you can use the buckle by the size to clip it on your backpack and all this for $45. Thank you once again, Coinsola, for having me on your channel. Hi, this is Kingsley from Tech Overwatch. Thank you, KJOS, for having me on your channel. So the best piece of tech I have actually used this year is the Samsung Galaxy Z Fold 2 for a variety of reasons. Number one, I love the fact that all the errors that were made in the first generation have now been corrected, like um, the hinge and also the new 6.2 inches display in front, which makes the phone now usable even if you don't want to unfold it. And then thirdly, for the fact that the phone folds, you know, it's the only real foldable phone out there right now in my opinion. There are other ones like the Huawei Mate X, but the Samsung Galaxy Z Fold 2 always takes the day for me. So thank you guys for having me once again. I'll catch you again in the next one. Hi guys, Oscar Mini here and thanks Cages for having me. So about my best tech for 2020, there are a couple things I want to talk about, but since I have to pick one, I would say the Synology DS920 Plus Network Attached Storage. With this NAS, I'm able to have up to 144 terabytes of space, depending on my RAID configuration. And everyone connected in my home network and studio here are able to share files and move it seamlessly. The other good thing about this NAS is that I can have access to the files on it from wherever I am using the mobile app, as long as I have an internet connection. Hence, I save a lot of my photos, videos, and files on it for easy access from any device I'm currently testing. It has made my file share and access to files easier in 2020. Thanks for having me, KJS. I'm gonna catch you guys in the next one. Kobe that day. What is up, guys? Easy here. Thank you, KJOS, for having me on your channel. So, I've used a lot of interesting tech this year, from smartphones to other kinds of gadgets, and it's hard to say which was not very essential, but if I have to choose, it's going to be these two the 15 inch Microsoft Surface Book 2 and the Samsung T7 SSD. The T7 is a very portable SSD, as you can see, very small, but it packs up to 2 terabytes in storage, and it is incredibly fast, with read and write speeds up to 1000 megabits per second, and it is priced just around $79 for the 500 gig model. I edit 4K footage directly from the T7 without any hitch. The Microsoft Surface Book 2 is not exactly a 2020 product, but I switched from the Book 1 to this in 2020 and it has so far lived up to the expectations. With 16 gigs of RAM, 6 gigs of dedicated video memory, amongst other beefy specifications, this is a device that has literally been pivotal to helping me keep up with my creative process. I shoot and edit all my videos in 4K and also export on the Surface Book 2 within 30 minutes depending on the length of the video. Let's not go into the gorgeous display and other specifications as this is not an actual review. So, these are my picks for the best tech I've used in 2020. Thanks once again for having me. Peace. Thanks for having me, Coinsola. As you guys know, KGOS, it's Fisal here. And without further ado, my best piece of tech for 2020 is literally the most hyped piece of tech. Uh, it's the Sony PS5. As you guys know, it's priced really, really high. It's kind of scarce at this point. A lot of stores are selling this for a super, super ridiculous price. But I've had one in the studio for the past couple of days and I've been testing it out. You can currently play 4K games at 120 FPS at the max right now, but 8K gaming is coming very soon with an update. However, the UI is configured for 8K. So there's been a huge gap in the gaming industry and this is literally the future of console gaming. One of the futures of console gaming really and yeah that's pretty much it this is my favorite piece of tech for 2020 thank you for having me coin seller also make sure you guys subscribe to his channel and make sure you turn on notifications he makes really dope content well you heard Fisaya himself i make dope content so subscribe to the channel 
Anyway, my favorite piece of tech for 2020 has to be the Sony WH-1000XM4s. Still a very long name in 2020 regardless. I love music, so there's literally nothing I don't do without it. So having a great pair of headphones is only right, and this baby right here has served me well so far. It has great sound quality, the bass is great, noise cancellation is A1, and for the price of 280 bucks, this is a must have. It also is the smartest headphones right now. It detects when you're speaking, so it stops the music for you to have a conversation. If that becomes too annoying, holding the right side stops the music instantly so you can talk to someone if the need arises. So it's the best headphones in 2020 and the best piece of tech I have used in 2020. And there we have it. It's been a roller coaster of a year and I'm just glad we all made it through to the end. And I'm hoping 2021 will be a better year than this one. Also, my Google Home Mini giveaway is still on. If you're not in, all you have to do is subscribe to the channel, follow me on my Instagram and my Twitter, tag five people who you think will want to win one on my Twitter or Instagram giveaway post, and I'll be announcing winners on the 31st of December, so stay tuned. Thank you guys for watching. My name is KJOS, and I will see you all in 2021.